Here the Ewart with that report. Adelaide is in the grip of cricket fever with the second Ashes test getting underway at the Oval tomorrow, but sentimentalists would have been more attuned to the Barossa Valley today, where former English and Australian greats rekindled old rivalries on the pitch to raise awareness of the charity established by the family of the late David Hooks, which supports organ transplant units. And while the event boasted an impressive lineup of retired stars, even they paled when compared to the venue itself, which has become one man's labour of love. Mike Sexton reports. This is a real beauty. It needs restoring. I thought, well, you know, this is a project that you can put your life into, and that's basically what we've done. At the highest point of South Australia's majestic Barossa Valley stands a 116-year-old bluestone monument to ambition called Chateau Tanunda. When it was built, it was the largest winery in the country and bigger even than the Parliament in Adelaide. The sheer scale of it, it was enormous. Um, and I thought, wow, whoever did this and being the biggest building in South Australia at its time had to be thinking in such a great vision. But after a century of use, the chateau fell into disrepair. And by the end of the 1990s, the once commanding symbol of the Barossa Valley was a mess. That was when businessman John Geber decided, almost of a whim, to buy the chateau and restore it to its former glory. People don't know that I slept on the floor here for the first three months, with the shadow ghosts running around. Interesting discussions we had with these guys in the middle of the night. <laughs> Maybe it was the ghosts of old cricketers past who whispered it in his ear, but during the renovations, John Geber had an epiphany and decided to build a cricket ground amid the century-old vines. Well, Darren, these five days ago, what's that wicket looking like? Now John Geber has his own field of dreams. And like the line from the Hollywood film of the same name, if you build it, they will come. Today they came, former England and Australian players who between them have scored more than 44,000 test runs and taken 1,300 wickets. It's just a very quaint place to play cricket and um, hope we have some fun today. I'm looking forward to having a bit of a roll, and, but I'm not looking forward to the five days following recovering. <laughs> Heads. It's an it. Oh, still got it, boys, still got it. Despite losing the toss, Australia was sent in to bat with opener Michael Slater in rude good health. Until a sharp one from Chris Lewis wiped the smile off his face. Despite the injury, experience told the Australians not to call on their 12th man, South Australian Premier Mike Rand. Uh, Darren Lehman, was, uh, when he was uh, come back to do his testimonial year, in his speech he said... Uh, He'd been around the world, he'd seen hundreds of thousands of people play cricket, but he said he thought that I was the worst he'd ever seen and I was an even worse bowler than John Howard. <laughs> but this is more than just a chance for old players to relive some glory. The event supports the David Hooks Foundation, established by his widow Robin Hooks, to raise awareness of organ donation. The camaraderie is amazing, um, but the, the biggest legacy, I think, ultimately will, will be what he's left behind in... Um, what he's done for just the awareness of organ donor, um, the necessity and the need for it. One of those who made the trip was former all-rounder Gary Gilmore. Gilmore to Baltasardi. In the 1970s, Gilmore played 15 tests for Australia and starred at the inaugural World Cup. But since those glory days, Gary Gilmore's health has slowly deteriorated. I was in hospital three or four days a week, uh, having blood transfusions and... The quality of life wasn't that flash. Twelve months ago, he had a liver transplant and his old cricketing mates helped raise money to pay the medical bills. And while the costs have been covered, Gary Gilmore feels a debt he'll never repay. Knowing that I got one, one, one organ from some kind family um, and then knowing it saved, like they say, one organ, one, one untimely death can save ten lives. And... Hopefully that that donor family is, um, can rest with the fact that they, they've saved 10 people's life and, and I'm, I'm one of them. It was an emotional day for the 55-year-old and for Robin Hooks. Three decades ago, her husband was the baby of the Australian test side. Now he's gone. And more than ever, Gary Gilmore understands the need to perpetuate a legacy for him. I had my first birthday last Saturday. 
so I was one year old on Saturday, and um, it's just great to come and support an organisation like this to um, and give my show my appreciation some way because it's uh, there should be more of it, and um, I'm just here to plead with people to join on the donor program. John Gibe it's a day of celebration. He spent eight years and almost as many millions of dollars rebuilding the chateau and his field of dreams is alive with legends. It's a dream come true. It's all about cricket, it's all about a great cause and uh, you know you've never seen so many top end players in regional Australia ever so Barossa's is going out in the world and of course Shadow Tanunda and that's absolutely superb. Like, it's fantastic. As superb as the atmosphere. Mike Sexton with that report. Time now for the week in politics with John